Of all of the skills you think of when it comes to being a UI UX or product designer, Googling might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but being able to Google effectively and efficiently is a little known secret weapon in the arsenal of a professional UI UX or product designer. So let's talk about that. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth from Designer Up, helping you become a more skillful and mindful designer. I spend a ton of time researching online, looking up terminology, following tutorials, watching YouTube videos, and generally learning things online. And my go-to source? Professor Google, of course. Most of us use this familiar search bar kind of randomly to look for a phrase that pops into our heads or to ask Google a question about how to do something. But taking a minute to search strategically and using some of the more advanced filters and search shortcuts can help surface the most valuable and relevant content and save you a lot of time and energy in the process. So here are some of my favorite Google search hacks for designers. There are three main levels at which you can initiate a Google search. First is filtering. Filtering searches for types or categories of content like images, shopping, videos, news, and then also things like maps, books, flights, and finance. Under tools, you can also filter down by the exact time something was posted or a range, and you can ask Google to search the exact phrase that you typed in. The next level is an advanced search. The advanced search option is a little more hidden but you can find it by clicking settings from the bottom right hand corner of the main search page and then clicking advanced search. Or after you've entered in your search query, you can click the cog on the top right and then click advanced search. From here, you can really drill down to find very specific things you are looking for in very specific ways. There are lots of conditional fields you can fill in here, so this one can take a little more time. But you can search by exact word or phrase, you can search by any word or phrase, you can have things omitted, you can search for a range, and even by language, region, or most recent. And there are a few more fields here to explore, so if you really want to refine your search and get specific, check out the advanced search. My favorite method, however, is using search shortcuts, also known as search operators. These shortcuts are symbols that you can prefix or add to your query to modify your search. By learning the basic and easy to remember syntax, you can make your search results more precise and targeted and reduce the time and effort it takes to find what you need. When searching for something specific, try using quotes around the search phrase to minimize the guesswork for Google. For instance, if you search for product design course, by default, the search engine will search for content that contains those three words in any order. However, if you search product design course with quotation marks around it, Google will yield results with that phrase exactly as you type it. This can help uncover specific information that is more relevant to what you're looking for. Also note that when you use a search operator or modifier, you don't need to add any space between the symbol and the query or search text. And here's something else you can Google. They're called Hostinger, and they are the kind sponsor of today's video. If you're looking for some great web hosting, maybe for your UI UX portfolio or for a client website, check them out. I like using them because they're priced affordably and you don't have to shell out a ton each month to keep your site up and running. They are fast and reliable, so your portfolio isn't gonna go down or load slowly when visitors come to your site. And it's optimized for WordPress, so if you're building your site there, it's going to be really easy to set up and I'm super excited to be able to offer you a huge discount on hosting using code DESIGNERUP. Check the link in the description. Here's how to grab your discount. Head over to hostinger.com to see their WordPress and web hosting plans. I'm going to check out with the most popular premium shared hosting plan, and then I'm gonna select the 12 month option. And then down here next to the total where it says have a coupon code, this is where you can go ahead and enter in Designer Up. Hit the plus sign, and then you can see that you're saving over 70% off on this plan. Pretty awesome, go take advantage of that. Once you're logged in, they make it so easy to set up your website, just follow along with the setup steps and you can see how lovely and user-friendly this dashboard is compared to a lot of other hosting apps. 
With the premium plan, you even get a free domain or you can buy one or use an existing one and then just set up your DNS and you're ready to go. They even have a great Black Friday deal coming up, so check that out as well. Link in the description. Number two, omitting things. Let's say you're tired of using Unsplash for all of your stock photos and you want to find another stock photo site. You can use a hyphen to exclude words. So try searching free stock photos dash unsplash. This will yield results for stock photo sites that are not unsplash. Searching for specific file types. Sometimes you want to find a JPEG or an SVG or a PNG. You can type in your query followed by the word file type, then colon and the three letters of the file type that you're looking for. So for instance, cute cat file type colon GIF. And now your search results will show only really cute little animated kitties. Searching inside of websites. Sometimes you already know the website that you want to find something on. Let's say for example, that you're searching for a design template. This can be done using the syntax site colon, and then typing in the website URL followed by what it is you're looking for. So in this example, site colon dribble.com mockup. Your search results will be filled with mockups from dribble.com. Finding similar sites. Let's say you wanna find some design blogs that are similar to designer news, but not designer news. You can type in the syntax related colon designer news. This will bring up sites with content that is similar to the site you entered. One of my personal favorites for designers is reverse image search. Sometimes I want to find another image for my project that is similar to the one that I have. For this one, you'll need to click on the images link from the top menu and then click on the camera icon in the search bar. From here, you can upload an image from your computer or paste the URL to an image and have Google fill you in on the details and find you other similar images. So for instance, this shows that our image is 2,500 by 1761 pixels, and then it shows us images with a similar look, color, style, and composition. You can also click on usage rights and creative commons if you like to find images that you can actually use free of charge in your own projects. Searching for multiple phrases or words. You might be looking for results that contain multiple things. For that, you can enter in two sets of words or phrases and use the plus sign in between them. So for example, UX plus inclusive. Defining. Need to look up the definition of a word? Use define colon and then the search term such as Bezier curve to see all of the dictionary definitions for that term. Links in sites. Let's say you want a list of sites that contain links to another site. For instance, this could be your portfolio. Maybe you wanna see if there are any other websites that are linking to your domain name. You can use link colon followed by the website URL to find any sites that contain a link to this URL. Within a range search. If you want to research things within a certain range, maybe looking for something between a price range or between two different years, you can use two periods between numbers for that. Or search for something like design trends from 2020 to 2021. You might remember a word in the title of an article or in the body of an article. For that, you can use either in title colon and your search phrase such as design systems to surface content with that phrase located in the title. If you want to search the body text, then you can use in text colon design systems. Did you know that Google does math for you? You can type in a simple addition or subtraction problem like 600 minus 23 or a conversion such as 12 pixels to EM to bring up a conversion table. Time zones. Working remotely with people in different time zones, I often use time now versus to find out what our time differences are. So time now in SF versus India or time now in New York versus Hong Kong.
Another one that I use quite often, this is really handy if you need to quickly track the time of a task, project, or call. Type in stopwatch start and measure your time spent on a task and toggle over to the timer if you want to count down from a specific amount of time. Social media search. Adding an at symbol in front of a word or phrase allows you to search for it on social media sites. This can be especially useful for finding a username, a handle, or a similar handle mentioned on social media. Hashtag search. Adding a number sign or pound symbol in front of a word or phrase shows results for hashtags and topics being discussed or mentioned on social media and news sites. For example, hashtag WFH or work from home. So let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what was the last design related thing that you Googled. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.